Africa, Africa, Africa. The name resounds through time and space, evoking memories, feelings, and ideas that come to be, either by experience of life and culture on this white piece of earth, or by a conglomerate of information from visual, auditory, and print media that by synthesis in our minds has produced an image of the place and the people, or a combination of both. What does the name bring to your mind, and how did you get to build that image? What are the adverse effects of these stereotypical images of Africa? I wince as the early morning sun trickles through the thatch of my roof. As I step outside, I embrace the cold, refreshing wind blowing, whistling through the trees. The upward bound smoke from the kitchen tells me another day has begun. A brush over our morning meal, after paying our respects to our forefathers, as is the custom, and the family disperses to farms markets, maintenance, and friends. Machete in hand, I walk down the winding part to the farm. Alas, there is the chief and his entourage on his yearly march through the village. A little while after grazing the backs of men and women on the hillside, the sun falls behind the trees. In a later day, under the grace of moon, they gather round fires. The drum beats resonate and the curtain is closed with songs and stories of our heroes, our families, our friends, our village, our land. Africa is a land with the wealth of history and culture. For ages, the continent has evolved into the support of billion people. It is an organized society with a system like any other in the world. The cultures are so various that in a few months is all that is needed for one to go abroad. Today, Africans take the center stage in various walks of life. Africa brings to the world the difference necessary for growth, as postulated by JSV. of savage, uncultured men, a description that warrants exploration. This stuns the solidified Conrad's heart of Dallas. These definitions were built up by the colonists. However, this being insufficient to account for the atrocities of the colon colonial powers, many more myths were born. Myths about civilization emancipation of the African and check the wrong Myths such as the intrepid white hunter cuts through the thick vegetation with his chest and makes his way through the jungle, sure of his rights, inflexible in his determination. Beside him is a faithful native of that wild country who carries a spare rifle. Beyond the tangled mass of exotic plants and vines, appears the form of the temple erected to one of the gods. Silent wild animals guide this race as they have from time in the morning. While in quiet pilgrimage, men and women of the jungle approach the temple to bring precious gifts, which the goddess accepts with heretic indifference. When the intrepid hunter passes the barrier of ferocious beasts and becomes the obstacle of the fan fanatic worshippers, he finds himself face to face with the other world, the 
closest a man can get to the ages of human inception. The white hero is the tall, virile in his tropical outfit, with the shirt sleeves rolled up, bright night hanging around his neck, high boots, brushes, and of course the inevitable heavy belt sagging down on the weight on the right where he carries his revolver. The native by his side is silent and inscrutable, dressed half decently and with a turban that gives him an aura of mystery. He is the touch of column on the white he was shattered. This is a classic example of colonial stories. When a population is filled with illusions, not of the wondrous man, but of the heroism of the white man, they are bombarded with a mass of derogatory images representing the Africans, savage and civilized, who needs rescuing. The spectacle of Africa created by colonial leaders keep the home countries quiet while the people of Africa are robbed of all that makes them human, degraded to animals and exploited for work. Africa being a very religious environment, the colonists employed evangelism as the front of the whole expedition. This is shown in Things Fall Apart by Chinua Achebe. <laughs>